Michigan Republican gubernatorial candidate Ryan Kelly is back on the campaign trail after being arrested for allegedly taking part in the Capitol riot. Political analysts say they believe Kelly's ties to the insurrection could actually help his campaign. He's now the first political candidate in a major state or federal race to be charged in connection with the attack. Michigan Democratic Attorney General Dana Nessel joins me live now to talk more about this. Dana, thank you so much for being here. You know, Attorney General Nessel, what do you make of this idea that Kelly's FBI arrest could potentially boost his campaign? Honestly, it, it it's shocking and yet unsurprising all at the same time. Um, right now, my department actually has five major investigations uh, that involve high-level Republicans, uh, all of which were, you know, I didn't go out seeking these cases. These were referred to me mostly by other Republicans. Um, and so I, I feel as though because of the cancer at the top of the party, uh, Donald Trump, who has felt, you know, emboldened to <laughs> engage in any kind of conduct that he likes with virtually no repercussions at all at this point, it's only natural that his followers, his supporters will do the same. And frankly, there's no way to keep him off of the ballot. Uh, and if he were to win, it would be very difficult to remove him from office, even if he's convicted. Uh, so what happens if that does happen? What happens if Ryan Kelly wins his election and then is found guilty in his case? Well, he could be um, impeached, but of course that would take uh, not only impeachment by the state House of Representatives, but two thirds of the state Senate would have to agree. I, I would hope that in the event that he was incarcerated, and not able to serve for that reason, they would see that as a sufficient reason to remove him. But even in terms of a recall, according to our state laws, uh, a governor or, or any candidate for that matter cannot be recalled in the first year of his or her office. So it, it wouldn't even be till the second year that a, a recall could be launched. So it's a difficult set of circumstances. We just have to hope that the uh, voters of the state of Michigan feel as though uh, this is an important enough reason to ensure that this man is not elected governor of a state of over 10 million people. Now, back in April, a federal jury did not convict four men who were charged with planning to kidnap Michigan Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer. How difficult are these cases to prosecute? Well, I, if that's any indication, um, we're going to see a lot of jury nullification going forward. I believe that those cases presented by the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Western District of Michigan were incredibly strong. All the legal experts that watched the proceedings from beginning to end agreed that they were very strong. I think there was a, a sense of shock that two of those individuals were acquitted and that the other two had hung juries and presumably will be retried. Um, but I, I think we're going to have to be very, very careful during the course of jury selection to ensure that individuals who are seated on these cases will only be persuaded by the evidence and the law and not their political inclinations. Um, so is it a concern? Yeah, it is, it is a significant concern as we move forward on these cases. Now, when it comes to holding extremists accountable, what do you think the government is doing well right now and what more needs to be done? Well, I think one of the big problems that we have is that from a federal standpoint, we have all kinds of laws on the books as it pertains to foreign acts of terrorism, but not domestic terrorism. Uh, that's not the case with us in Michigan. And in fact, just recently, we obtained uh, the first four convictions against a white supremacy group that was training with firearms for the purposes uh, of causing um, you know, an insurrection uh, against the, the government. Uh, and so we were able to convict those individuals and they're serving time uh, in prison now. But the federal authorities don't have the same ability, oddly, that we have here in Michigan. Uh, so it's much harder for them to pursue these cases based on a lack of laws involving domestic terrorism. So they have to sort of work around it and find other laws instead. And so in terms of an effort to overturn the government, oftentimes it has to be done through violence uh, and not through some other mechanism. Uh, and so I think that's a problem. And it's something that I really believe has to be addressed at the federal level. All right, Attorney General Dana Nessel, we appreciate having you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.